There's so many different variables that can impact the way a crop grows. So what you're looking at here is two different kales, the exact same type of kale grown with all of the conditions the same except for the temperature. And you can see here just by adjusting temperature, one kale is substantially larger than another kale. Technology is a critical component to what we're building. And we're taking in millions of points of data in real time that have an impact on the yields of our crops, the qualities of our crops, the way they look, even things like the flavor and the taste of the crop themselves. That data gets taken in, analyzed, and stored. And then that entire data set of images and nutritional and environmental data gets looked at through other machine learning algorithms. And our system is actually able to look and say, do we like what we're seeing? Do we not like? And make decisions on its own to say, why don't we tweak and change certain variables at certain times and then push those changes out automatically into our system. So it doesn't require to sit there and think about and look at data and make decisions. It's our system actually making decisions much faster and much more efficiently across a much larger farm. There's so many different variables that have an impact on the way a crop grows. We can change things like the light intensity, but even things like the light spectrum. We can change things like the rate at which the water is flowing. We can change the frequency with which the water flows. We can change the nutrients in the water. We can change things like the way the air is flowing or over the plants, how frequently that air flows, how strongly it flows, and the controlled environment that we have, but also the ability to, to change our conditions and change the variables, allow us to actually bring that flavor out in new and interesting ways. Most people don't realize there's even that many different kinds of kale. So right here is a Siberian kale. It's gonna be a bit hardier, a bit smoother, sweeter when you first bite into it. Then you go over here and you've got the, a red Russian and the red Russian is a much bolder kale. It's got a really nice texture and that flavor is gonna hit you right, right when you try it off the bat. This actually is my favorite. It, it's the Toscano and the Toscano is crunchy and it's got a much deeper and earthier flavor. And then lastly is the Scarlet. It's a sweet kale right from the beginning to the end. So just four different types of kale in a world where many people didn't even know there was more than one. Because we control the environment, because we control all the variables that make a crop healthy, the crops themselves grow in a very consistent way. You don't see blemishes, you don't see issues, not only in an individual harvest, but harvest to harvest as well.